Hi, this is Jim, and I'm here with Maverick CNC. One of the things that I that, that I always run into, and and you know, is with air pressure flow inconsistencies that come into the plasma cutting system. Very common problem that we run in, run into. Everybody runs it into, and it really has little to do with the size of the compressor that you have, unless your compressor is way too small, of course. You could have a 500 horsepower compressor with a thousand gallon tank on it, and you can still have low airflow coming into the plasma. And the airflow is really related to the, the plumbing that goes between the air compressor and the plasma. So 3 8 inch hose, if you're running quarter inch hose, you're gonna have trouble. If you have 3 8 ID hose, you're probably okay unless you've added too many filters to it. Everybody wants to put filters to, to separate water from the moisture content from the air or oil from the air or particulates from the air. And every time you add anything to an air line between the compressor and the plasma cutter, uh, you will affect the flow somehow. It's gonna, it's gonna cause a restriction and, and will cause a little bit. Um, here at uh, Welder Supply in Louisville, uh, th their solution for troubleshooting anyway is a uh, gauge with a quick disconnect fitting and a flow meter that you can actually pop right on the back of the plasma cutter and you can look at the real-time flow to the plasma as well as the uh, static and dynamic pressure uh, going into the system. So it's a good troubleshooting tool. You can get away without the flow meter, you know, in simple cases, just put a gauge on it, but it has to be right at the back of the plasma cutter, not 10 feet away. And certainly can't be any filters or anything like that in between the gauge and the plasma cutter or you'll get an incorrect reading. So uh, air, air flow, uh, air pressure into the back of the plasma is absolutely critical. That air flow and air pressure is what controls the cut quality uh, and also controls the cooling of the torch. So consumable life and cut quality are key issues with correct air. This is a good tool to troubleshoot that. Thanks.